Minister, I've, I've had some work done by the Parliamentary Library and want to, want to table this. And given that uh, per capita investment in the CSIRO is now less than half of what it was in the 1980s, and has fallen by 87.5% as a percentage of GDP. How can Australians have confidence that the organisation is properly resourced to meet national science challenges when we're hearing about these sorts of layoffs, challenges with facilities and, and declining funding? Well, we've had this discussion, um, of course, uh, um, a little bit offline, um, and I think it's fair to say that um, while, while the government asserts that um, no, nominal funding hasn't changed over that period, of course you will assert that uh, in real terms uh, that's a different story, which is what your uh, I haven't seen your um, uh, parliamentary library, uh, the, the work of the parliamentary library on this question. Um, uh, and and I do um, I do just say that there is a very substantial investment from the Commonwealth government into the CSIRO. In, in it is a it is where well well it, it's a substantial annual contribution declining to a, to our national science institution. I appreciate your point about um, uh, uh, the difference between nominal and real contributions, but I just say it is a it is a significant contribution to an important national science institution. I expect um, the management of the CSIRO to work with the staff of the CSIRO to make sure that the organisation is on a sustainable budget footing, and that uh, that work is going on. Officials have described some of that to you. They'll be very happy to answer further questions. I also want to make sure, uh, as the Minister responsible for science uh, in the Commonwealth Government, that, uh, that the CSIRO is continuing to evolve its approach uh, to making sure that its programs of effort are in line with the uh, national science priorities of the country and, and what the country needs in order to solve the big national challenges in front of us. Um, that is um, the, the challenge of leadership in this organisation. Um, it is not the only place that research is done in Australia, and of course you know that the st Strategic Examination of Research and Development will conclude its work uh, on behalf of the government uh, towards the end of this year. Um, I'm watching closely and working closely with the leadership of the CSIRO on their work, watching closely uh, and working closely with the leadership of the uh, research and development review uh, and um, looking forward to making sure that we've got not just a national science institution that is budget sustainable and directed in the right way, but also that we've got a national research and development capability, public and private, state and commonwealth, that serves the country's interests well.